Lucy Cowley and you're watching The Fine Art Auction and today I have the great pleasure to be sitting here talking with Lucas Roy and discussing all things art and everything else that's going on in his world. I'm Lucas Roy, uh, I'm here in Darlington in the UK, North East. Uh, I'm an artist, uh, influenced by street art, graffiti art, most of all public art, popular culture. How did I get started in art? I think, I think I've always done artwork. I didn't realise at the time that I've always done it, but in reflection when I look back and when I took art back up on sleeve and kind of found the escape to get away from this kind of stressful pull on life. But when I look back, when people say, when did you start? I didn't think there was a, a definitive time. And I've always done doodles and I've always wrote my name in weird forms, but it's something you don't really know. But I think it's through the way I'm lear I learn. I'm a visual learner. Couldn't really read, attention deficit, high energy. So I think that kind of personality, you are always distracted and doodling. You're on the phone, you, you drew some random picture. And I think it's always been within me. Graffiti was kind of made for the graffiti crews. I, I wasn't kind of within that genre. I, I kind of came into it when graffiti had kind of uh, came a bit more mainstream and then merged into street art. I got my inspiration from street art, but learning street art, I understood where it came from, the graffiti crews trying to get higher than the other crew in the area. Going over the other crew's tags, it was just about one up and it was between themselves and then street art emerged from, well, we understand that it's it's kind of artwork. Yes, it's only for yourselves and your crews, but it can have a, a kind of more powerful impact to the public. The most indispensable items in my studio, uh, the couch is a good one to just sit back, take a kind of few feet away from the artwork, have a breather. My tablet is the, the biggest asset I'd probably say once I got my tablet my iPad uh, because I, I think when I started learning artwork I started going into a, a graphic digital kind of realm with logos and I started doing the odd bit for people who wanted stuff uh, CDs club events that were going down and I, and I like the way that you can collate images edit them change the layers and make a whole new piece of artwork straight away and I think once I got my tablet I'm able to work more productively on multiple pieces of artwork I can flip and change the colours, I can move things without wasting an ounce of paint. What it came down to is one, once I took up artwork full time and I was doing it a lot more, it, just, it was just a form of meditation, you're not thinking of anything outside of what you're doing, you're just, you're just focusing. So most meditation is just kind of mindfulness and if you tell me to don't think of anything, my brain's going 10 to the dozen but with artwork you just stroke by stroke, music on in the background, podcast. And from there, I just it just developed, and then I started to understand the engagement.